what was supposed to be my aesthetically pleasing creamer just has a big ass reduced price sticker right where the label is. I'm a great YouTuber so far, you guys. Today we are going to be making some bougie ass coffee. Why you may ask? Because it's my channel, I can do what I want. Also because I actually slept for 12 hours last night and I need to be productive today. So we're going to get nice and caffeinated. Also because, um, as you guys know, I am subletting an apartment. Make sure to check out my video on how to do that. It's basically like being in an Airbnb, so I am subject to all of their kitchen equipment that they have. And fun fact, they don't have a regular coffee machine here. They're too fancy for that. They have an espresso maker and a French press. So we're gonna play with those today and see what kind of bougie coffee we can make. So if you're interested, then just stay tuned and let's see how wired we can get. All right, so the first beverage we are gonna make is a coffee using a French press. So according to google.com, the way to use a French press is you pour your coffee grounds in straight into the glass, then you pour boiling hot water over it and then let it soak for a little bit of time, which I, have yet to look up but you're gonna let it soak and then once you're done you put on this like squeegee thing and you <laughs> French press it down so that all of the coarsely ground coffee beans stay at the bottom and then just all of the uh, regular coffee gets sifted through and then you pour it into your mug so it seems pretty self-explanatory um, I actually will probably have to look up some of these directions as I go so it's not that self-explanatory but we're gonna work with it so I went to Trader Joe's and I got some coffee beans. So these are whole beans. And with a French press, I guess you want to use more coarsely ground beans. So that way when you do go to, um, is it sift? Strain? Sift? Strain? We're just going to keep using sift. When you go to sift the coffee, um, the beans stay at the bottom and just the coffee like liquid comes through. If you use finely ground coffee, I guess that some of those um, those coffee grinds come through and then you get chunky coffee. We don't want that. So we're gonna actually blend these beans ourselves. So in my apartment, I gotta grab, they have this cool little food processor and we're just gonna blend this bad boy up. All right, I'm just gonna pour these bad boys in. And Blend. I don't know what the hardest part about making coffee is, is making this as aesthetically pleasing as possible. Nobody tells you you have to clean in between shots for YouTube! All right, so from here it says we're gonna do three tablespoons of coffee grounds to one cup of boiling hot water. Um, that sounds like a lot of measuring, so we're just gonna eyeball it. I don't know, here's one, two, three. Is one coffee, is one coffee, cup of coffee even enough? One cup? I mean, I guess since we're making a latte, it'll be fine. Okay, so there's our coffee grounds. Next, follow me. So the next step would be to boil some water. Luckily, my place has a cute little tea kettle here. So I have ow, measured out my one cup of water proportions. I'm gonna dump this bad boy in there. the wrong burner <laughs> can't even read you know I never like I never used tea kettles growing up my family wasn't a tea family we were very much like a coffee family 
I like the aesthetics of a tea kettle, but I never found it like actually practically useful. Except for like top ramen. And I guess now French press coffee. Now that it's done screaming at us, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this over our coffee grounds. Okay, that is not gonna be enough coffee. But again, since we're also having a latte, I'll forgive it this time, Google. So then you just, I guess, take your French press thingy and you're just gonna leave it on top so that way it kind of, there you go, creates a seal so that it all can combine and seep together um, with the hot water and the coffee beans. So while we're doing that, we're gonna get started on our latte. All right, so we are going to now make a latte. I've actually decided we're gonna make a cappuccino. And the difference is that um, they're actually totally the same. Cappuccino just has more foam. I know this because I was actually a bartender at Mimi's Cafe, but when you're working the morning shift as a bartender, you're not actually making alcohol drinks besides mimosas, you're actually just making a lot of coffee drinks. So I can't make anything fancy other than a cappuccino, a latte, and a coffee. Pretty sure somebody once asked me for an Americano and I was like, um, that's not on the menu, so I don't know how to make that. I actually still don't know what an Americano is. But besides the point, I know the difference between a latte and a cappuccino, and that's just you whip the milk a little bit more to create a little bit of foam. I bought cute little milk frother. This was like five bucks from Target. And we're gonna whip up some milk so that way it gets nice and frothy, and then add the espresso. So I have my milk here. I have zero recommendations for what kind of milk works best for this. I'm learning as I go. So I'm just gonna pour um, a little bit. Is that a good unit of measurement? A little bit of milk in there. And the technique for this is that you're gonna wanna stick it in. <laughs> and then Look, when this goes on, you're gonna wanna have this little guy that spins on the surface of the milk, so that way it whips it up. If you do it from the bottom, it's not gonna get as foamy, it's just gonna get more frothy, but we want a lot of foam. So come on in and take a look. Oh. Hi, it's me. I forgot a step. I have to microwave this first, so let me go microwave it for a minute. Sorry about that. You know how for chaotic this video is, I'm surprised I'm not caffeinated. I wish I was. All right, we have our microwave milk. It's nice and hot and steamy. We are gonna turn this little guy on. Put it, oh Jesus. Keep it towards the edge. And kind of just go in and out and don't create a mess like I'm doing. We got some pretty good foam going on. We could probably do better, but I think I got nervous because I'm filming. Um, so that's what we're gonna work with. And tucked away in between our microwave and our thing. We have our Nespresso maker. So it's a cute little compact thing. I have some pods here. Um, let's go with black, cause that's probably gonna be our darkest, I would assume. And we're just gonna pop this bad boy in. I don't think it can fit. So let me pull this off. Oh no. Oh no, it popped through, I didn't get to. I didn't get to use it. Ugh. There we go. I'm gonna hit. Should we do a big glass or a little glass? Let's go big. Go big or go home. Big glass and we wait. Cappuccino is done. It's actually looking pretty foamy. You peeping that foam? 
Now it's time for the finishing touches. So I have some skinny syrup here. This is hazelnut. This is gonna add just a little bit of sweetness to our cappuccino because espresso and milk is pretty intense. I actually really enjoy it that way, but I thought this would be a fun little way to pretend I'm a barista. So we're just gonna do a little, little dollop. Little, a little bit there. Then for the cappuccino, my thing. I like to give it one last little stir, keeping this towards the bottom. Um, I have made this before because I got really excited and I realized that I did the milk first and then I added the espresso and what was happening was that I would, I was drinking all the espresso on the top and then the last like 10 sips were all milk. I didn't combine it at all. So we're just gonna give one last combination and don't splash ourselves. There we go. And it doesn't remove any of the foam because the foam is still on top but just a nice little combination of the bottom. Ooh, look at all that foam. Do you believe me now? Can you see it? Yeah. Then I'm gonna set this off to the side. We're not gonna have this yet. Patience, paciencia y fe. Have our French press here. This is the fun part. We're gonna press down on it and then what's left over, we're gonna pour. I need another mug. Into another mug. So come on in for this part. So professional, JC. So that's the stuff. Okay, I'll stop. I'll give it another pump just in case. That actually ended up being a good amount of coffee. Um, Probably not what I want, like, I would want more every morning if I was just doing coffee, but it actually was a lot. I will say with the French press, it doesn't actually press down all the way, so I didn't get super satisfied because I didn't get to really, like, smash down and crunch on all those coffee bits and get any last remnants in, but it did its job so far. So for our finishing touch for our coffee, I use nut pods um, because my sister tells me to and like they're supposed to be like better for you or something. So let me just pour like a little splash here. And then same thing, if we're feeling fancy, I'm just gonna add a little, little dollop of skinny syrup. Boop. All right, let's do a taste test. I have the cappuccino here first. Mmm, ooh, I added way too much sweetener. I knew I would, but I like it. I like it more on the bitter side. Mmm, with the foaminess, like watch, watch, watch. Did it work? Ooh, that's really good. I like that a lot. Makes me feel like a little, a little bit more fancy, you know, a little, a little bougie, a little bougie. Let's try our French press coffee. Already I can kind of see some like, I guess like, you know, like with wine, you can see the tannins on the glass once you take a sip, the legs, if you will. I feel like I'm seeing the tannins of coffee, the, the grinds, if you will, like on the edge of the glass. So it's like, I'm hoping it's not going to be like... Crunchy? No. I don't know. I don't know guys. We're just gonna try it. Hmm. I like it. I like the coffee. Um, it tastes a little watery. It tastes a little watery. Maybe that ratio from google.com wasn't for me and I just like my coffee a little bit stronger. Yeah, I think it just needs to be a little bit stronger. So I don't know if that is fixed by just less water, more beans, or if I just need a stronger stronger coffee no it says i got dark roast i got dark roast rich and flavorful dark roast but that's gonna be good once i can figure out the ratios um pros and cons of both pros they're both delicious and they're both gonna get me hyped for the day cons is it takes a long time and not just because i was messing with the camera too much to try to get unnecessarily aesthetically pleasing shots but because like for a french press you have to wait for it to all like submerge into each other 
Um, for the Nespresso, I mean, that's pretty similar to a Keurig, so I think I like that better. But for French press in the morning, I'm tired. I want my coffee ASAP. I don't want to have to use a tea kettle, use a French press, pour it in. Like, I don't know. It's just like, that's so not hipster of me to say. Like, the cool thing is like, oh, but it produces the best coffee. I'm sure it does, but I'm a convenience gal. So, I don't know. For me, I still like K-Cups. Oh, but they're so bad for the environment. I don't know. I'm gonna keep playing with these, um, see what I like for the summer, but for now, it's just fun to be a little bit bougie and feel like I'm a true Angelino getting my fancy ass unnecessary coffee. So thanks again for tuning in to watch me chaotically make a couple bougie ass coffees. I had fun doing it. Um, if you're interested in any other weird videos, I am just, making what I feel like. So if you want to join me in the future, then make sure to like and subscribe below. And, you know, let me know if you prefer espresso or coffee. I'm holding the coffee, but like, I think I'm like, I'm digging the cappuccino. I'm digging the cappuccino. I don't know. But if you'd like to join me again in the future, I would love to see you guys again. Toodles! God, I feel like I look like I'm Amish or something. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this dress. I don't know. 12 hours last night. Sorry, I need to stop fidgeting. Can you see my head? <laughs> this is hard.